Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs Golf. You wanna watch me destroy the screen in 30 seconds? Go. Done. It was a little scary doing this, even though it's a, it's a necessary evil. I know a lot of you out there absolutely hate this time of year. When you go to the golf course and it's so beautiful and the greens are rolling so well and it just looks so pristine, and then the next day you go out and it looks like this, like a nightmare. But we went to uh, the shop, uh, the rental shop, and we rented this. It's an aerator, and I don't know if you can see underneath it here. Hey, there's me. So. This will give you a little bit better perspective of what I was trying to explain. Uh, this is the camshaft and it works just like a piston. As it spins, uh, these aerators on the bottom go up and down. As they go up and down, we get these. These are cores. Now the reason it's important to pull cores out of a putting green is it really promotes healthy growth. It promotes, uh, it promotes a healthy root system. It also, uh, when you fill it in with sand, it's also gonna give you the ability to drain water, excess water, because a lot of problem you get with heavy rain when you have a clay base, which is, is this bottom part of the green. Uh, where I live in Indiana, uh, we get a lot of clay, and it's very hard, and it's very compact, and what it does is it doesn't let water penetrate it very easily. It's great for filtering water, but it's horrible for letting water drain away from areas. So when we get heavy rains, this whole thing floods and water just sits on the top and it usually runs away. It washes off all the, the nutrients and the, the fertilizers that we drop on it. And it, it, it kind of impedes what we're trying to do. Now you will see, if I grab another one here, let me see if I can find one. Here's one, let me get that focused on there. You'll see that the top half here is primarily sand, and that's pretty good since we've never done this before. We have about, oh, I would say a little over a quarter inch sand base on here, and uh, that, that's good to, to let the water, you know, penetrate into the green, but the problem is it only goes that far, and then that's all the water it can take. So this is going to help with getting oxygen to the roots. It's going to help with uh, letting these roots grow out into new areas and strengthen the green. And it's also going to let water drain off the green a lot easier. And it's going to be a much better green for that. I hope. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you, when I first started doing this, I almost had a heart attack. Uh, it was terrifying. And, uh, you know, it's good for it. And I have to tell myself that. It's like taking your kid to school for the very first time. It's like, you're like, this feels wrong in every way. But I know it's good for it. And I want it to be a healthy green and get a good education. So now our job is to rake up all these cores, get them off of the green, clear it off, and then we're gonna take all this sand over here that we've we've bucketed, and uh, we have a spreader over here we're gonna drop the sand down with, but we're gonna take all this sand and we're gonna fill in all those cores we pulled, and we're gonna broom it in with a push broom, and by doing so, we're gonna create our drainage system, we're gonna create uh, a little bit healthier root system and let oxygen and all those nutrients penetrate the soil and really get down in there. So let's get to work. I'm tired. I want to go home. We're all done. Uh, it took us like six hours to do this thing, to finish it all up. And you can see it's all sanded. Uh, all the holes are filled in. Everything's top dressed. And uh, all it has to do now is get watered and, and grow in. But uh, it was a long day. Uh, I think it was somewhere around 2,500 pounds of sand it took 
to fill in all those core holes and top dress this green. Uh, of course, we played around on it afterwards, and uh, it, it was fun. But I look forward to actually coming out here in, an, in another couple weeks and uh, seeing how it looks, see and if uh, you know the root systems have grown in, and and see how much it's filled in and how healthy the green looks. So, uh, like I said, uh, this is the first time we ever did this. Uh, we know nothing about greens keeping. Uh, so feel free to put in the comments section below any uh, tips for next time to make this easier for us or things that we left out or things that weren't necessary that we did. Uh, we're all about uh, learning more and doing this more efficiently. So thanks for watching as always. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's go take a nap.